In this class, we will study about working with units of measurements in Max as a way to standardize measurements in creating our mock-up designs. In all designs, whether they be architectural or engineering, it's necessary to keep the scale proportional in Max. A wrong selection in the design can cause many problems. 3DS Max is conscious of this fact and provides a tool for defining units for standardizing designs. So let's introduce Unit Setup. It is located on the Customize menu. Look at its definitions. See the Display Units group on the Unit Setup screen. This group is responsible for defining the unit of measurement type for the design. In our case, we'll define the units for the metric system. These units are millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. In the case of the U.S. or American standard, these units are based on inches or feet such as fractional inches or fractional feet. The custom setting allows us to define a default unit related to the defined unit system. Example, attribute 1 as the render unit equal to 10 centimeters. Click OK and check the box in the scene. This cube was created 20 centimeters wide. We can see the sides of the cube measure two render units. Go back to Unit Setup to see the last defined unit option in Max. This is Generic Units, which is the default system for the software. This unit equals one inch. It can be applied to modeling organic shapes. But in scenes which require real measurements such as lighting calculations for rendering or dynamic objects, this unit can cause a negative effect on the final display quality. Throughout the entire design in this course, we will apply the metric system. So in the measurement listing box, select meters. So in this class, we have studied some tools responsible for defining units of measurements in Max. From now on, we will configure our designs more faithfully related to real objects. In future courses on rendering and advanced lighting, it's required to correctly define the units of measurements as this is fundamental. To all rendering and photometric lights, which are based on units to create surprisingly realistic images.